Hello, and welcome back. Guess what? My internet's down because Bright House is a piece of shit. So we're gonna record some Rogue Legacy. Mostly to pass some time. It's already been 30 minutes. It'll probably be longer. But we have a Spelunket, a Hokage, and a Barbarian King. And hopefully TeamSpeak doesn't make a bunch of noise when the internet reconnects. If it ever does. I just remembered it's on in the background, but whatever. Um... So our next task is the boss down in the dungeons, which apparently I've been calling the Maya or something, because someone yelled at me in the comments to stop calling it the Maya. Sorry. Um, I think we're just going to go Hokage. We're going to go Hokage slash Spellsword and basically swap between the two. Those are going to be our boss killer classes, and they're pretty good for traversing the castle itself as well, so pretty good on that front. I think... I don't actually know what I want to spend points on. What kind of uh, equipment and runes do we have? Uh, we got a lot of sky runes, didn't we? What do we have that's not useful? You're not terribly useful. Get a bounty rune. Cost a thousand gold to get that. It would take a long time, and then that would cost more. We could get two bounty runes. Or we could get quad jump. Quad jump is not very useful. Triple jump is about as far as I generally go, and... Uh, Two dash runes is also generally as far as I go, but we do not have that option unless I put this one on a dash rune and put this one on a jump rune. That would require I buy two runes, which would leave no room for anything else. So I think we're just gonna go with these bounty runes. I don't remember how much it gives you, but uh, it, sh it should provide us with quite a bit more money. And out of curiosity, what do we have here? 10% gold bonus. Nope. That's basically it. We don't have a lot of equipment, you might have noticed. And we can't buy anything here, and we can't buy anything in the shops. So, let us continue. I don't remember if we had a good castle layout. I'm going to assume no, because it's Rogue Legacy. And if there's a good castle layout, then by God, that's a thing. Well, this is a bad castle layout. We just got here. I've gotten better at these rooms than I used to be, but they're still really quite annoying. There's that double jump coming in play. Come here, Zambi. Alright, so... <laughs> really, game? I realize I said I got better at these rooms, but... That's... The, you didn't have to give me another one for practice, did you? This seems like a room that has a secret door in it, or something, but there's nothing I can see, so... Um... Leave. Okay. <laughs> leave, leave quickly. A carnival? He is sort of an ass, is the carnival guy. It's a legitimate concern. And you know... I never actually closed my door, hopefully it's not too much... Oh right, we're clumsy, so we can't actually do this. Never mind. So hopefully no one haphazardly wanders in whilst doing this. We'll see. If they do, I'll just pause it and uh, close the door. Don't want haphazardly wandering in people. That's silly. Well, we found the way down. It's not a good layout, but we did find the way down, so there is that. That was also stupid. I do not like this room at all. In the slightest bit do I like this room. It's a chest and away. A chest and away! Indeed. It's the technical term for this. Not the brightest person in the world. Myself included, and not the brightest person in the world. What is this room? Death and despair. What is the room that was over here that I apparently passed by? Death and despair, but it's a quicker death and despair. Okay. We got this. No worries. I'm surprised it went as well as it did, to be fair. Get him to shoot. 
That was not the optimal shooting pattern, but it still worked out fine. And these dongles. I gotta be like that game. I actually kind of like Clumsy. I mean, I see why it could be annoying. This might be a boss room. It's not, but it's easy. I can see why it could be annoying, because uh, you end up just, like, hitting into things that you could step on that would help other situations, like these things on the roof that you can stand on. But it's a lot easier to break things. So we got Ponce de Leon's Obul. So we have all of the Obuls. That was really close and unnecessarily dangerous. All right, we're leaving. <laughs> I didn't like how that thing was just coming into the the little hallway thing there with me. Eh. He thinks we're not going to do it this time. Especially because of these freaking mistakes that I'm making that are getting me killed, basically. But I do still want to try and find the room. That was the most bollocks room I could have possibly encountered. Enter room, fall down, get hit by spike. Alright. Spell sword, spell sword king. Barbarian king. Um That's not really good, especially with spell sword, so we're gonna go with Lady Frazi Frazier the second. The hypochondriac nostalgic spell sword, so hopefully you like the nostalgic trait, because that's what we got. I do wish spell swords were a little bit more intelligent. They would do crazy damage if they were, but hey. Oh ho, this is very special, indeed. So we've all but the one boss, of course the one boss being the one we've not killed. I wonder... No, they don't. I was about to say, I wonder if these carry into new game. But that would be stupid, because we have to fight the bosses again in New Game, so there's no way it could have possibly carried to New Game. The minor downside of this trait is it's a little bit harder to see the colors of certain enemies, specifically mages, of course. So sometimes I won't be quite sure what type of mage a particular mage is. It goes away when you do this a little bit, but, you know, it doesn't particularly help. Basically just a different overlay. What's going on up here? Uh, a chest? I don't know why I explored this way, but we may as well grab the chest since we're here. We're not clumsy anymore, which is kind of annoying. I like being clumsy. You've heard it here first. I want to assume it's not that way. It may be that way, but we're going to check down here. It is, in fact, that way. Also, that's a death trap. I kind of like those death trap rooms, because they they basically force you... I just left gold back there. They basically force you to quickly analyze the room and determine what the heck's going on, because if you, you just chill out in that room, you're going to get hit at least once, and that's going to make it really hard to get out of the room if you're getting hit. Because once the... Uh... That was close. What was I talking about? Once the guns start firing in those rooms, they fire fairly quickly. They just have that initial delay on them to let you out. Where the heck is the dungeon? Also, what the heck is this room? Oh, I didn't see he was doing that. Whoops. Oh. And someone mentioned I did... Uh, I don't use uh, empowered spells very often. That was close. I don't know why I took it so risky, but... Uh, this is true. I really only use empowered spells on bosses for the most part. There are, there are a few instances with certain spells, like in this case, where I will use the spell. Even in instances where it's not actually required, but it just makes it a little bit faster slash easier. But most of the time... I really only use it for bosses, because the, the point of the empowered spells is it takes more MP, but they're very strong. Sure. Well, there's a basically free fairy chest, if I can- holy crap bones. 
Alright, well, we've, we've taken some damage here. Bone Man McGee over yonder. We'll just chill out for a second. Killed him. What's left is this guy, I think. And we're gonna try and grab this gold that's down here without dying. There we go. Free fairy chest. What do we get? A retaliation rune, which is a thing I'll never use, but hey. Um... You what? I came in here and he made a giant fireball and it made me slightly concerned. Turns out it wasn't actually that difficult. Seriously, how do we go down? That was unexpected. Probably should have been expected. Whoa, buddy. Swear to God, I've taken so much damage in this because of that stupid Doom Fist. All right, there we go. I should have expected that. I should do what I always do. And is this... That's the forest teleport. Oh, and there's some dungeon teleport. Well, we're up to good health again. We can just not lose it on the way to the boss. If we get a really good location for the boss, we, it's, it's possible we could do it with this layout. Is there anything up here? No. I always like doing that, fall down while you break the boxes. Oh, I didn't see that guy coming around. Well, there's a heal. I don't like that room at all. Trying to get them to go into a good layout. That was not a good layout. I wanted it to hit all three of them, but that apparently was not a thing that was going to happen. And you are not a mimic for some reason. We're probably gonna. I realize I haven't used the health thing. We're probably going to. I just want to figure out what's over here. Turns out not a whole lot. There's another chest, but I really don't want to deal with that room with the damage we have. Although the shuriken is good for that. Or whatever it is that this thing is called. I don't actually know, to be fair. Alright, well, there's. There's something over there, and there's something below us. Let's go ahead and check this way. I did not realize he could go down that incline. So we're just gonna do that. I thought it would have been a little more flat, so we're gonna do it again. There we go. Should have done that to begin with when I came into the room. I don't think that hit what I wanted it to. It may have. It looks like it actually did. I mostly wanted it to hit the turret that was firing slightly above that one, which it looks like it did. Go on, pirate. Ain't got all day. Thank you. So there's the use of uh, Empowered Spell. That is a room I do not want anything to do with. What is this one? Way down. All right. over here. Leads to this room in a roundabout fashion. That leads nowhere, so it turns out we were supposed to basically just go straight down, weren't we? Well, we can at least grab this chest here. Ooh! Imperial Bracers! Lovely jubbly. And as much as I want that extra gold from the chest down there, I also really am just curious where the boss room is at this point. So this way and then down. Where does this... There's a little dwarf hole, dwarf hole there, but I don't know where that comes out. Hmm. Or where you end up with that. Ooh, ooh. Quickly. Okay. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but since I did it. That's the direction I wanted to throw it. There we go. What the heck is going on? Oh, there's another horse down there, isn't there? There's a lot of chests in this room. Oh, there's two down here. And I don't have enough MP to throw another one. There we go. Good use of, uh, or good magic for that weapon. Or that... Good 
magic to have for that room, is what I meant to say. There is, seriously, does like the boss room not exist, or what's going on here? So we're dead. Yeah, we're 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 dead. Oh, I wasn't expecting that missile to hit me. God box XL. That was a decent run, even though we didn't find the boss room, and that's my entire job. Um You know, a lich with Crowstorm. But savant, actually. Hmm. Archmage just swapped HP and MP. Hmm. We're gonna... No. Maybe. Yeah. We're gonna take Lady Frazier. Frazier. We're gonna upgrade Liches, finally. There you go. What did that give us? Oh, right. That gives you Death Defy. Forgot about that. Actually, pretty useful to have. Um... I don't know. Yeah, it is pretty useful to have. It's really expensive, but it's nice. Especially since you're giving a 15% chance to defy death, which is good. Uh, and we will up our... Health. I think that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna take a quick break. I will be right back. And I'm back with screenshots. And it's been about an hour and my internet's still down, which, uh, you know, welcome to freaking Bright House. Anyway, let's head back in and see what we can do here. Now, because we are a Lich King, or Queen, actually, in this case, we can swap our HPs for MPs. Um... That's not the button I meant to push, but there's an example of that, so... We're gonna pop Crow Storm, they're gonna go kill stuff for us, which will give us HP. It kills everything in the room, basically, which is insane, yes, but it takes a lot of MP, but now we can create MP. At the cost of something else, of course, but hey. Oh right, we're Savant, I forgot. I actually really do hate that ability. But, uh, it's not the worst ability, by quite a margin, actually. So every time you see my HP go down, that's actually me hitting the wrong button at the moment. I'm intending to cast spells, but I'm hitting Y instead of B because Spell Sword, and that's what I do. But the playstyle is a little bit different with Liches than other classes, because you're, you need to kill things. We're back on Crow Storm, so we'll just pop that. There's only two enemies, it's not really worth the cost, but hey. Um, you need to kill enemies in order to get HP, in order to swap to MP, in order to cast spells. So, basically we're going to be losing HP a lot. Please hit that dude. No? Okay, whatever. Really, it would be optimal if we didn't swap and we just had Crow Storm all the time, but it seems the only spells we can swap to are Crow Storm and the Ricochet Balls of Doom, which, to be fair, aren't the worst magic in the game. Or isn't, I should say, since we all know Crow Storm isn't the worst magic in the game. It's probably one of the better magics. Especially when you get uh, reduced MP cost upgraded pretty heavily, it allows you to cast that spell with minimal cost to yourself. Which is good, because it's basically a cost and an HP. There is a limit to the amount of MP you can have, mind you, but... It is quite a lot. You would, you'd have to clear most of the areas in order to max out your HP and MP on a Lich. Which would make you very powerful. Your swings are very weak, but your magic as a Lich is very strong. So that's actually quite handy. Plus you get huge amounts of HP, obviously. You, you're not quite as much as a Barbarian, but it's still quite a lot. Alright, well. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, sorry. 
find a better room to use the uh, ricochet balls on. Although I'm apparently going to die anyway. Well, we found some food. Kill this guy. There we go. We'll head out and grab this health that was up here. Maybe I should upgrade my uh, restorative foods or potions as they are for whatever reason called. There we go. Hypergonadism is actually kind of annoying on a character that has so little overall damage. As I've mentioned previously, knocking back people is good, but not that good, and this is actually a slightly better room to use this on, although it's going to do nothing. I'm surprised I dodged that. There we go. Not the best uh, conflux, I think is what those are called, that I've ever used, but whatever. Alright, well, I don't have any idea what those did, but we have Crow Storm now, so we're just gonna use that. Wow, it didn't kill this guy in the back? I wonder how much health he has. He killed everything else, why didn't he kill this dude? Oi! Why weren't you dead? Eh, whatever, it's fine. Uh, that leads down. There's a bunch of downs going on here. Well, we found this, so I may as well scan through it for anyone who wants to read it, I guess. And hasn't watched the other time I played through the game. Where, to be honest, I wasn't much worse. It's, it's pretty hard to be much worse than this. We are going to pop Crow Storm. So Crow Storm is no longer one-shotting enemies. That's fine. There's apparently zombies going around here because my crows are just doing sweet circles. Except now they're down here. Okay, that was a legitimate hit by him. Give him credit where credit is due there. Um, there's a little hole for dwarfism there, but there's nothing in that room, so that's a bit of a curious room. Alright, what's down here? Spikes. And this dude. Who, again, we cannot kill in one hit. Apparently we can't even kill him in several hits. This is not boding well. How did that not hit me? That hit me. Alright. I don't know why I used it at that point. There's one enemy left, but whatever, it's fine. Do you get MP back for absorbing the complexes? I don't remember how that works. What I do know is we've been really close to death pretty much this entire time, but hey, have some more MP. That way we're not so close to death. The downside of doing that is it gets your, your potions are percentage of max health. So every time you do that, you're effectively making your potions weaker. Okay. There was a chest in this room. It's also a room full of skeletons, amongst other things. If my freaking confluxes would stop being so bad. I would much rather have, like, shuriken or something, or just have a permanent spell. That'd be much better, but whatever, it's fine. We got over here. Take no damage, that's not happening. We found the boss room. We have so little HP, it's not gonna happen, but we are gonna give it a try. We do have Crow's Storm, so if I can do this quote properly... 6,000? No. Uh, if, if I can do this quote properly, uh... It's possible we can do it. Basically, I need to split him as many times as possible and then pop Crow Storm. But that carries the innate risk of just dying before we can split him that many times because our physical attacks are awful. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pop it there. That mage is up somewhere. Unless it killed him. If we can kill those one, those mages, and that was bad, and one hit with um, whatever the thing is, he's not dead at all. You know what I mean. Pop that. Just kind of chill out up here, because there's a lot of. Oh god, there's all the mages. All right, well. Pop another crow storm. There's so many mages! Jesus! 
save me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that didn't go very well, but... We did get him actually fairly close to death. There's just a lot of mages there, so I'm not sure how that would have gone down. We're gonna give it one more try. Assassin, there's another Hokage with Dextracardia. Mm. Could take Lady Akasha the sixth. I didn't realize I've taken Akasha that many times. What's a crit chance? 39. Really just we have a three hundred percent boost almost. Let's let's around there a little bit. So one hundred fifty strength basically is what we'd be equivalent to with the crit here. Plus, of course, the upgrades that we will eventually want for that. But for now, we're really am just going to continue stat. Well, should I get bounty? Um. We'll grab we'll grab that level of bounty and we will put a point into that. So 41% chance of critting. Which point would do slightly more damage than a Hokage would do. And we have an increased uh, gold gain. Plus two bounty runes, which will obviously increase our gold gain. Bounty runes increase the number of gold dropped, not the quantity per gold that is dropped. Two bits of food and a potion already. What is this crap? Despite being an assassin, we have a surprising amount of health, to be fair. Like, 226 health isn't too shabby. It's not great, it's not the 500 that a barbarian queen king has, queen king. But, you know, it's pretty darn good. So that's not a fake one. I'm pretty sure I went through most, if not all, of these last time I played. That's how it works. The most painful is always the best. To wait for it to go the other way. So I almost hit the thing anyway. Well, there's the, that boss door. That's not a boss door we want, but gold, so. That 40% buff in gold may not seem like an awful lot. We need dwarfism for that. Uh, at initial glance, but you have to consider you get, you know, 100 bits of gold pretty much every run. So 40% added to every little bit of gold that you pick up is actually quite substantial like the turrets down there. That damage I took earlier with the Doovis was stupid, but... Oh, here's the way down. I don't know why I keep breaking statues that I don't need. Um... I don't much like that room, so we'll investigate this room instead. And see what's down yonder. Another room! What's over yonder? Another room! By God, there's rooms everywhere. Take no damage. I'm actually gonna do this, just so that doesn't mess me up. There we go. A vault rune. You can get crazy amounts of jumps going, like quadruple, triple jump thing going on. I don't like this room at all, but we're kind of stuck in it now. Alright, that went alright. And there you see all the, the gold from Bounty. It really affects the more difficult parts of the castle because they innately drop tons of gold anyway. I'm trying to kill this Zumboner so I can get a means of getting up there. There we go. So we can try and deal with this dude. Perfect. What's up here? Basically free treasure if I don't get hit on the way, which I did because of that stupid spike ball. I should have timed that a little bit better. Uh, we we kind of need to go this way, so might as well just go through this room here. What's in here? A room I don't like, so let's go this way first. What's in here? Not much better, to be fair. 
figured that was gonna happen. Took one hit in this room, that's not sustainable, but it's better than I was anticipating myself doing. This continues going down. And this is a fairly easy room, so long as I don't do something stupid and get hit by one of the spike balls. How far down are we going? But there's nothing down there because I just plummeted like a rock. Well, we found another thing. So he's got to the dungeon now. The story has actually caught up to us. Which it usually does. Yeah, I was hoping to kill him before we got another cast off, but the cast was harmless anyway, so... This guy might be a problem. Gravy bro and fire bro over here. If I could just get more crits, that'd be great. Oh, that was stupid. You're gonna be a bit, bit rude, aren't you? You wanna come down here and fight me like a man? This is a big room. I just realized how large that room is. Um, That would kill me if I screw that up, so we're gonna pass on that for now. Even though I've already determined this to... No, well, never mind. Already determined that to not be a, a good layout to save. You should have picked the other child. Lady Akasha the Six's parting words. Well, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time, where my internet will presumably still be down.